So we, we, we have, we, we, we've tried uh, technology this morning and we'll be uh, streaming live across all our shopping centers and all our offices of Moana because it's an exciting tour, uh, an exciting day for us to be here. So good morning to all our centers and uh, everyone that's on this live stream. So today it's not really so much about talking about the technical teams that went into the plug itself. But we're here to celebrate the culmination of the work and months that went into the work that the team uh, put together. So we are quite excited to be here. Um, and I'm, I'm told that on Thursday, uh, there will be a more technical presentation in terms of what went into uh, the work. So let's start without any waste of time by welcoming Chaslin and Mokari to come and just give us a brief overview. Literally, we have about five minutes uh, to, uh, to do that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, Mukhari is changing the program. I was going to do that. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, before we start with the program itself, let me just uh, acknowledge everyone that's here. We've got NBI. Uh, we say thank you for making time. Lisa from GBSA the uh, GC uh, CEO of uh, Perito, Mr. Madusi Kikana. We've got other uh, people that were involved on the program. Um, the Green Design Africa, Solid Green. We know that Lipsev was involved, uh, DP Group as well, and EXCO members of Perito that are here this morning. So everybody, welcome to this uh, day. So before we get on to uh, the handing over of the plug, let me ask uh, Shazlin and Mokhari to just come and give us a brief overview of the program. Shazlin, brief. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see about that. <laughs> it is streaming, has it checked? It is. Fine. Uh, but you don't want any people watching. <laughs> no. Uh, so, as everybody knows, my name is Charles Lintonga. Um, I was part of the uh, design team entrusted, and the project team uh, entrusted by our group CEO uh, to get uh, this project built uh, from concept up to, up to um, us actually moving in. It was an intense program. Um, it was a true masterclass, I think, in terms of collaborative effort to get it done in about three and a half months uh, from design to build to moving in. Um, I think it was an exceptional effort uh, for us to do, um, and really just to thank everybody that was involved, uh, from finance all the way through to, to the staff member themselves, to the executive as well. Um, there's a lot of technical detail um, that, that went into it, but that's for another day. Um, but um, I think all to say is that uh, very happy to have been part of a team that managed to get this done. Yeah, so thanks, Chaslin. So I'm Mokhari, and I'm responsible for sustainability and innovation. And we managed to sneak in the, um, the certification for interiors as part of the project. And um, so it was one of those um, inescapable things we had to do uh, as part of the refurbishment. And it was also quite great that the leadership enabled us to, to do it. Um, and also it was thanks to the design team, I think it gave us such a great template from which to harvest a lot of the, the points that we got for the uh, interior certification. And also just to the Green Building Consultants in enabling us to you know, get those innovation points. By the way, everybody needs to know, the project got 100% innovation points. Um, so, yeah, what a remarkable feat. And you can also see that it's a building that is not only beautiful, but it's a space that's actually quite productive, and it also serves the user, and that's really what we were aiming for. So, yeah, um, it's, it, it was a win-win for everyone, and we thank everyone for having been part of that. Uh, thank you, Harry and Charles. Um, you know, uh, the green 
Greeks ever say that society gets better when uh, a group of old men plant trees under whose shade they will not sit. And I think what we are planting today here creates a legacy, even for those that will be coming here long after we have come and gone in this place. So sustainability has to be central to everything that we are doing here. We're quite excited to see the culmination of the work that went into months and months of work that went into this. Let me uh, call Lisa, before we call Maxi, to just give a brief uh, overview of GBSA. Thank you. Morning, everybody. It is really great to be here, and, and I think less probably about the Green Building Council and, and more about this, this, this wonderful building. What I love in, in sustainability is that, you know, we, we, we in, in getting Green Star Rating, we often tick boxes, but the true um, proof of it is when you walk into a space and you can feel it. You know, this is a beautiful space, you can feel its comfort, you can, f you know, and, and it makes sustainability tangible. And I think that's what's great about when, when I come to these buildings and, you know, because some buildings you can tick boxes and whatever, and it's not quite there, but uh, this one, I really, you know, you can feel the warmth, you can feel the great space, you can really feel the sustainability. So, sorry, Lisa Reynolds from the Green Building Council, I'm the CEO, and I'm very honored to be here. And the, the Green Building Council has been around since 2007, and we certify buildings, but our main aim is to change the face of South Africa into a green space, into sustainability. And these buildings are milestones. Um, we we uh, reached 600 certifications last year, and we want to keep you know, climbing from there. So I just wanted to say congratulations to you guys. Um, you saw my, my, a little bit of my speech saying 100% innovation. Well, that's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> so well done. Transportation. And I think the, the big thing, as I said, you, you feel it because I think a lot of attention has been put into the space as for people's comfort, for productivity, as you said, for the um, working space. And I know there's more plants in the space than you need. Um, lo looked at by Philia. And, and all the, the wood is responsibly uh, sourced. And I, I think it's, it's, it's really living proof of, of what a great effort and probably hectic three months it was to, to get this done. So I just want to say from my side, uh, congratulations to all who were involved. And I think this is a great living proof of the effort that's gone into it. And I think that's all I want to, to say. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Lisa. Uh, as, I, as I said, it's a very short program. Uh, I'm going to ask the GCO to just come and talk a little bit about um, whatever you feel you want to talk about. He's not going to tell you. Yeah, it's an ambush. Now I was just kind of, I, I saw the food. So. <laughs> So I came here because I thought, hey, if there's a function, there's definitely a function. Uh, and also to, because we've been working from home, uh, up until that's fine, we'll continue. So I thought, well, it's, a, it's an opportunity to escape from my dog. <laughs> 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 and that's all that's bothering us. Um, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, first, congratulations to the team. Um, for embracing uh, doing things in a sustainable way. Um, and I think the good thing about having a head office where there is a level of consciousness about uh, sustainability or climate change is that you know the fish rolls from the head. So if here at head office we are conscious about sustainability and uh, saving the planet, it goes without saying that the rest of our operations, whether it be Moana, our shopping center and so on, um, that culture will be embraced. So I think for me that's the uh, most important development is that we've, we've set the tone 
um, for the business that um, unlike Trump, we do believe in the science <laughs> and the evidence that uh, climate change um, is a big concern and we're seeing the devastating impact that is having uh, throughout, uh, throughout the world um, in extreme weather conditions, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and we've suffered from that. Where you've got you know roofs that get blown away by massive amount of rain and hailstorm, that is unprecedented. Um, and and for us that goes to show that this that we're dealing with is not uh, fiction; it's real. Um, and as large property developers, we have a very unique and big opportunity um, to create a a South African landscape. Um, as more and more developments are being brought into the market, either by us or whoever, that those are sustainable uh, buildings. And, and it, it's our responsibility and duty as big corporate citizens um, to embrace uh, this way of working because then it means everyone else will uh, want to mimic uh, the leaders. Um, let me reiterate. Uh, the, uh, uh, to thank the, uh, everyone who was involved. When I came here and they told me that, well, I mean, they committed. I never asked. They said, no, we'll do it. By September, I said, really? So to make sure that Mr. September was met, we served notice on our landlord. So, <laughs> so there was no way we're not moving, you know? So, <laughs> so because we had nowhere to go uh, from the 1st of October. And I must say, um, you know, with all the snacks and everything, and you know, it, it, it really is a pleasure uh, to work from here. It's definitely one of the most um, comfortable, inspiring spaces I've ever worked in in my entire business career. So thank you for giving us a wonderful home um, away from our other homes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, GCEO. You always provide leadership, and I think that's why the team is able to achieve whatever they are achieving. So we're now going to ask Lisa and uh, Marusi to come through because this is the official handover of the certificate. Show it so that you can drag a little bit more. Council, congratulations on a great effort, and it's really my privilege to give this to you. Oh, thank you very much. It's <laughs> like uh, the Grammy moment. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so much appreciated. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. We have uh, officially come to the end of our live stream. Uh, so those that are at the centers, because we're trying this for the first time, and it probably will be the, uh, the, the test going forward. It will be something that we're going to be uh, employing all the time when we have events like this. Please, if you can, maybe just give us an update of what the reception has been on your side, uh, so that we can be able to improve on this technology that we are working on. So we have on the other side there uh, some ETs that have been prepared for you. So if you could join us uh, just for the networking uh, session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.